Um, I'm going to call the regular select board meeting to order. It's uh, October the 3rd. Welcome to October. Um, first thing is set a just agenda. Anybody have anything to remove from the agenda? <laughs> Pretty slim. And you to begin with, so. I know, I know. Looks good. I like it. Thank you. Yep. Um, all right, so next, uh, communication from the audience. Anyone here to bring anything that's not on the agenda that we're not going to talk about later? Yes. Can um, you state your name, please? Yes, should I stand? Yeah, stand. However, you, however you're comfortable. Stand and move okay. into the room and talk over by that microphone. All right, you guys. <laughs> wow, that works. Thank you. My name is Macy Moeller. Um, just came here to introduce myself. I'm the new director for ACTV. I'm Excellent. excited to be back in Hardwick and bring some bring back community television. So yeah, thanks, thanks so much. Thank you, Macy. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, we really appreciate HGTV, um, especially for filming our select board meetings. It's really great. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Anyone else have anything to communicate or not on the agenda? Okay. Um, we're gonna roll then. Uh, Next is um, to approve minutes. We have two sets. One was our last regular meeting, which was the 19th, September 19th, and a special meeting on September 27th. And especially, you got 15 minutes to get there, meeting. That was the one. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. <coughs> Sorry, you're not here yet? There was an option to call. Oh, okay. Me. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I got your message. All right. So. You got it done. I was worried you weren't going to have enough people. I don't know what Right. Yeah, I know we got it down. So, how about a motion to approve the motion to approve both sets of minutes, please? Second Oh, well, that wasn't that the <coughs> second one. That's all right. Carry on. I think it's fine. Yeah. Do you read the minutes? They're I did. Read? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I read the story. Right. So, yeah. any discussion on the minutes? Okay, they look good, both of them. So, thank you very much. All in favor of approving both sets of minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next, town manager report given by Mr. Upson. Okay, so um, we're working on, uh, we've been communicating back and forth with the bond bank over a uh, project anticipation loan, um, which for $1.7 million for the lift stations. The, the mitigation for the lift stations. So just the lift stations? This is going to be a, a, a FEMA project, mm -hmm. and the loan will be um, in anticipation of the FEMA reimbursement. Mm -hmm. What's what's great about this, this is a state, uh, leftover state ARPA funds that the state moved over to the bond bank to, um, to Put out there for water investment projects um, and what's great about this loan is fema does the 75 percent 25 percent uh the 25 percent is the local match uh, so the state and the local usually split that 25 percent uh, with this program the 25 percent is forgiven wow so um, we have an application in we've been meeting with the bond bank and we're just trying to finalize the details and also um use our bond council to, to make sure that we're doing it right and that um, we can guarantee the payback with the FEMA, obli the obligated funds from FEMA. So more on that, but we're having, we're starting, they just uh, opened it up. Um, we put in an application and so we're, we're in those back and forth uh, meetings right now. So I have two questions. Yep. Um, one is uh, if it's a bond in anticipation of FEMA reimbursement, it's going to be we think a small time frame. Do we need a bond vote, um, we, or do we not know yet? We we don't know yet. That's okay. going to be dependent on the structure of the loan. Okay. Um, but if it is in anticipation of FEMA and we have guarantee that FEMA is going to to reimburse, then we wouldn't we wouldn't need to go to the voters for it. And then the second is just about the project, so the lift stations. Yeah. It, so it's tied into the entire wastewater. Yeah. But because they have a limited yeah. amount of money in the program, yep. and they've identified Harvick as a potential recipient of it, they want to do one this as a, a small project, so not lump it in into the, the funding for the wastewater. And the lift stations were a huge pain in the well. They're both in the flood. They're well. They're both. Um, 
in the floodplain, right. the floodway, and they were both flooded, and they need, yeah, um, we need to raise raise up the infrastructure, right? Yeah. So the, we can't really move them. I'm a, I'm a little surprised. It's 1.7 million just to raise. I mean, I'm assuming we're buying all new equipment when we're raising them. But so some of them will be. Some of the equipment will be different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And is who's our and is all of working with this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. Yep. Yeah. Um, so A and E uh, next meeting, Albert and Elliot will present their draft report. Um, that they will after they present the draft report to the public to the select board, they'll they'll mark it up as a ninety percent complete report, um, and then FEMA will take uh, the state consultants will take the plan up to FEMA to the leadership, and then they will provide us with uh, what they're going to give us for funding for the new wastewater plan. Rebuild. Oh, so this is. Whoa, really? Yeah. Phase two. Yeah. This is well. We're we're getting to the point where we're going to receive, um, basically, an offer from FEMA as to what they will, what they're going to give us for the for the, the wastewater plant. So, so, but you're saying next meeting, all the Janelli is going to present us with a plan for the, the draft plan. The draft plan for the wastewater plant. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yep. It is. Um, it's not the plans. It's not like the engineered plans. No. But it's what we plan on doing. The, the scope the overall. And, yeah, feasibility and like the cost. general direction. Yep. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. Great. <laughs> um, we had 10 uh, potential bidders show up today for the pre-bid meeting for the two EWP projects. Mm -hmm. And um, the engineering has started on the third project. So that's progress with the EWP. Yeah, that's good. We have 12 properties that we've submitted applications for for this new disaster to, for the EWP program. 12 other residents that um, their their dwellings or their um, in, their uh, I don't know their home yeah their homes that are in, in peril of being washed into the, the brooks. So that's we're gonna keep going with that. Are those all is that the same as a No, no, no. Raising some. Well, some of them are biased, but some of them are just repairing. Repair the the bank and armoring the bank. Um, Mumley Engineering has completed the topo survey of the Harvard Farms, so that oh. that for the new box culvert. Um, and then this is a lead service inventory announcement. Uh, next week, Paul Rich and Elliot, and I think myself, um, maybe some other members of the town staff will be doing door-to-door -door lead service inventory uh, visits. Um, we're going to put it out on our website and front porch forum, and because this needs to get done, um, so they're going to be pounding the pavement. I did mine finally. Good, thank you. So that's one. Um, Kristen and I are working on. Through some of our public meetings that we've had and our interactions with the public, um, we're going to put together a timeline of projects and um, milestones that we want to reach for flood recovery and other projects. And we're going to make this available probably on the website. We're trying, just trying to figure out how to do it in a way that's not confusing um, and doesn't raise more questions. Um, but really, it's just going to give our it's going to give ourselves um, a timeline of, of recovery and where we want to be when we want to be there. So that sounds awesome because I think a lot of people, probably even the select board, it's hard to keep track. There's so many projects, right. and it'll be helpful just to, to for all of us, but the public too, to know what projects we're tracking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing, uh, last week I had six dog bites as a deputy health officer. Um, some of those were preventable, some not, were not. Not you personally. No. Yeah, reported dog bites. Um, <laughs> different dogs. Different dogs. Mm. Uh, and I just wanted to point out that um, two out of the six of those dogs were licensed. So it's really important to get your dog licensed because it involves a lot less hassle for us um, and for the victim of a dog bite to know the status of the um, rabies shots and all that kind of stuff. So 
this uh, public service announcement. Just wanted to let you know. Yeah. And you prevent your dog from biting people. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions for OPI? All right. Moving on, next we have the road foreman report. We don't have the road foreman. Do you want to um, Yep, they, we, last week they moved the crusher in. We're crushing uh, different types of material, gravel, stay mat, um, some, some of the round stone from the tailings of the sand, uh, winter sand. So we have a bunch of different products coming out up there. Um, they should be finishing up early next week. Uh, the guys have been hauling um, gravel on the roads and grading roads um, and they're getting stuff buttoned up and getting their truck prepared for winter. I think having recently been given the privilege of a little tour of our new gravel pit, mm -hmm. I kind of think we ought to have a site visit as a board up there just because it's pretty impressive what a resource it is for us. Yep. And I think we ought to have a look and if we did it as a site visit, you know, as a worn thing, yep. if people from the public wanted to join, not that any people would, but if anybody was interested, people could see what the town has in that pit. Yeah. I think mean, it'd be a good thing. Before it gets too cold. Before it gets too cold or after one thing, it's not urgent necessarily. Mm -hmm. we do some, some of the select board members have been up there and some of them have put a lot of their sweat into helping the town out, yeah. which we appreciate. Yeah. I just, so I just we should move on to a new subject. Okay. That's fine. But I just think we should uh, have, a, have a tour sometime. Um, yeah, but, uh, we are, that's, so that's the road foreman report. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, next, Harvey Police Why isn't the road foreman here? He had stuff going on tonight. Like? Harvey Police Department I'll go. report, <coughs> Mr. Henry. So, <coughs> one of the things, uh, we had body cameras, <coughs> let me go back. We had these Vista 200 cameras, and uh, they're pretty simple, easy to use. Uh, we used uh, WatchGuard Evidence Library to download all the videos. We kept that in-house, had everything right there. Well, as of July 2023, they decided they're not, no longer going to support that, and they wanted everybody to go to web-based stuff, uh, cloud service through them for all the storage. So we had to make a change, <coughs> and we got those cameras. <coughs> I held off as long as I could, but we got a grant, got the cameras. If you remember back mm -hmm. a while ago, we got those cameras, and this is what we got. We got the VB4 um, camera, which looks nice, works somewhat well, but I've spent months with tech support on this. We've had issues with them, uh, you know, won't turn on. Do, do crazy things. We, you know, setting up the system took uh, a long time to get it set up, the web-based system. It's a new system for them, for the company. And when I get tech support, they're like, well, I need to go talk to somebody else because I'm not sure this doesn't make sense. That went on. <clears throat> so we're still working on that, but we do have these deployed out now, finally, after months of working with the company. So. We're having, still having issues. <clears throat> I've threatened to send them back and try something different, but uh, they keep trying to work with us. So I just, I don't know if you want to pass you it on. store the data in-house with those? No. Yeah. So this is all cloud service yeah. storage. So the grant paid for five years of storage uh, with this. We got and everything paid. You don't, you, you don't keep anything very long unless you need to, right? Yes. <laughs> don't press the button. Well, then don't give me, don't give me the yeah. toy. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> press all the buttons you want. Tim. I did. Yeah. I pressed all of them. So. And these are body cams, my friend. These are these are body cams. Yeah. So they got a little bit bigger, um, but. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Tim. It's blinking green now. Is it green? Okay. Push the 
The middle, middle <laughs> button? Go ahead. The big middle button. The big middle button. That's how easy it works. There you go. Now it's recording. There, everything's there. So, yeah, everything is now cloud-based storage. Um, they don't give us the option because yeah. the other system was so nice to work with in-house. We had everything right there. Uh, now you got to log on, go to a, you know, find your storage. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But, um, so, on another note, um, you know, we've been working on the drug activity in town uh, with the drug task force. And, you know, last week we made a number of arrests. Uh, you know, two of those arrests resulted in uh, state charges and federal charges. So we've been trying to up the ante with the federal charges as much as possible. Um, so it was a good week last week. Uh, the other people were just state charges, but uh, uh, felt like we made some headway last week with that. I did get uh, some complaints with a traffic crash coming out of the post office. Um, people turning left have a hard time with the trap, the park vehicles that are parallel parked along the side in front of the salon there. Um, nobody really has any solutions, but one thing, I don't know if this would help or not, is one of those mirrors, if we could put one of those across the roadway so you can, you know, round mirrors. You're making faces. Is it making faces? I, that's not property we own. That's the problem. Right, right. Um, just <coughs> some, some sort of yeah, suggestion. Yeah. I'm looking for suggestions from anybody else because the only other option is to eliminate those two parking spaces. What if it was only a right turn? Yeah. What if we... And people just turned around and well, the required people to turn right. Over. We could do that. Yeah. So people are still going to turn left. Yeah. 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 They're still going to turn so, left. You're looking to make it more convenient for them to turn left. So if you make it no left turn, it's less, in, you know, than they, if it takes you too long, a long time, then it takes you a long time. It's an illegal turn, so mm -hmm. not my problem. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think it's just the parallel parking cars. No. I think the sight lines there are really short. I would, yeah. yeah, with the, there. And the with cross traffic coming and, around the corner. And you got two crosswalks, and then you got another crosswalk up to the right as well, up to on the. Uh, no Inside. left turn is the is better for everyone. You think? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because we got people wanting to go left, you have to have traffic not coming both ways. So mm -hmm. immediately that doubles the amount of time you wait because you got twice, you got yeah, two yeah. directions. Mm -hmm. So people go out and you go right and you go up. It's no different than a rotary. Everybody goes the same direction. Flow of traffic. But turning left out of the. I mean, I know so do you want to sit here for fifteen minutes, or do you want to get out? In one minute, and then I have to do a two minute loop and be three minutes on your way. So, in my experience, <coughs> and I don't go get my mail all that often, but in my experience, when right. I'm coming out, if I want to go left, I'm and not, there's traffic. I'm not talking about the, in, that intersection. I'm talking okay. about the flow of traffic and getting from point A to point B quicker. If, it's, if you come out of the traffic, and you have to have both traffic stop to get out, so you have to wait longer, you sit here longer. Or do you want to come right out real quick, take a right, go up, turn around, and go right down? Or is this guy still sitting here? So what I was going to say is, in my experience, when I'm trying to come out of the post office, um, I'm trying to turn left. Usually, if there's traffic, very, very quickly, there's somebody coming along who wants to come into the post office. And since it's not wide enough for two cars to pass there, they stop and wait for me to leave. I see that all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That sounds like a way better answer. Well, I don't know if it's an answer at all. I'm just saying that's what I see. That's what happens. I don't know. Right. It's not great because there's not room to get in and out of there. And yes, turning left is hard, but I don't know that we can make rules to improve it. Danny's right that turning right and very like Generally, when I come out of there, I make a right turn anyway when it's busy. Yeah, because then you can get out. I can get out. I can just... And you can go in the parking lot and... Loop around. But no, the... Uh, the owner of that property has expressed concern about the entrance to that parking lot and we told her that we had a um, we have a transportation alternatives grant right for that Mill Street so this is going to be looked at and we can definitely have that conversation about putting no right no left turn I have another idea yep if the post office delivered mail they do. To who? To some, not all. <laughs> <laughs> then, 
A lot of us wouldn't be going in either. It does make sense that the that the yeah that that whole thing is going to get looked at so closely that the and sh and uh, the building owner had talked about moving the the exit or entrance closer to the building so it was further away from the corner, but that creates some safety problems in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So it's going to get looked at. Yep. Okay. Just putting it out there. That's all. But there was a crash. There w there's been several crashes. Yeah. 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 I'm but surprised there aren't more. Yeah. 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 This one just happened last week or Saturday. Um, you talked about <laughs> drug arrests. <coughs> Um, I was reading something recently suggesting that in the overall scheme, um, you know, it, it just doesn't seem like a, the drug problem is something we can arrest our way out of. Like it seems, you know, it helps, but it's a little bit of a whack-a-mole um, type problem. And that, that it, you know, ideally, you get fewer people to use drugs. I'm just wondering if there's any, like, but, if but, any of the people you encounter, do they get an option to get steered into treatment if they're ready for that? All of them do. I they mean, do. we have tons of treatment options, and that's the problem. But they have to be ready. You can't force someone really to... Right. The only, way, the only way we're forcing people, unfortunately, is when they're arrested, yep. they get dried out. Okay. Uh, they, you know, yep. uh, it's a terrible process to go through, the, the withdrawals and everything else, but then they can start thinking clearly again a little bit. And then maybe they want to get help at that point. Uh, that's more of an option than just saying, "Well, maybe you'll get help someday." You know. Right. Well, so they have it. Yeah. So it presents them a, a, a way, a time for clear thinking, and they have the option. Right. Yeah, okay. Right. So I don't know what else I, I've doing. heard that expression a lot, but uh, I mean, Tim works in the field. You can speak on this, Tim. I mean, you can't force people. You know, it's the same reason I don't work with court appointed people is because you can't force people to, to do the work. They have to want to get better. They have to want to get clean and sober. And if they're not ready to do that, then it doesn't matter what you do or say. You can give them options. You can do all that. But if they want to, they're going to they're gonna yeah. use. Unfortunately. I mean, the... The answer, I think, is more complex and societal. Mm -hmm. You have to provide other avenues for meaning and purpose and fulfillment in life other than, you know, life so hard that I'm going to turn to, you know. All right. Any other uh, questions for Chief? Uh, moving along, then, item one, select board to review and approve first class liquor license for front seat coffee. Is here. What do you put in the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Irish coffee now? <laughs> Clearly, you that forgot rule second. number one. Nope. <laughs> Only a first class license. But what was the number of says? I was about to approve last first time. Oh. Clearly, you forgot that rule already. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't have the license yet. I think Alberta's here to represent Alberta. Clerk's office. Heavy hitter. You guys are impossible to hear. It's terrible. Alberta is terrible. Hello. 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 License request from front seat, first class liquor license for front seat coffee. This is a new application, right? Yes. And you have everything you need? Yes, we've received everything that we need from them. Yes. I would like to motion to uh, provide a first class liquor, li uh, liquor license for front seat coffee. Second. Any discussion? So what's that? What are you going to be serving? Beer and wine. Is that what Beer and wine, mimosas, um, and this. We're we're not really we're not trying to be a bar. We're not we're we're kind of wanting to serve the um, the lunchtime beer crowd and and then have um, we'll have some uh, events that we want to have some mm -hmm. beer and wine at. So. Cool. Not not really competing with any of the other businesses in town. Um, just trying to sort of expand our, our our offerings a little bit. Great competition's good. 
Yeah. Any other questions? No. Nope. All right. All in favor of approving first class liquor license for front seat coffee, you can say aye. 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 Opposed? Not aye. So motion carries. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Next is item two: select board consider approving a manufacturer's free cannabis license renewal for Tola Processing LLC. To renewal. Renewal. No, no issues with this. Renewal. No issues. I can motion to approve a manufacturer's tier three cannabis license for Tilia Processing LLC. Second. Discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I love how we move from a conversation about addiction <laughs> to approving a liquor license. And, uh, cannabis. And, uh, <laughs> cannabis. Anyway, as, lo as long as the state gets their money. Yeah, yeah. there's no irony here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. There, there's <laughs> an argument to be made here. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Uh, next is item three, select board to hear a presentation provided by a small business administration. Thank goodness. She's not here. Thank goodness. Same we heard before, right? I think I so. were ahead of time, just saying. Yeah, we are. Um, that I'm anxious. We, we did our best to try to... Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's we'll speed yeah, up. Get out of here. Yep. I can look at it. All right. Item four. <laughs> Follow-up discussion. So, oh, but just, there are SBA loans available. And yes. I think should know that. Yep. If you're looking, then they have call terms. They call, call the town manager's office if you're interested. Yeah. I'll look you up. That may be an epic thing. All right. <laughs> call the Call the town Call the Item four, um, follow-up discussion on LDRT connector loop recommendations, South Main Street bike lane, discussed at the last meeting. I just want to say that Danny was right on the cost. Will you say, will you say that one more? Will you that say that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was. <laughs> Once is enough. <laughs> I'll tell him, I'll sing it if he it's wants to. It's recorded. So, <laughs> even one of these is pretty ridiculous, I think. Because mm -hmm. a thousand, they're only talking, like, even the, a thousand feet isn't very much for just a white line. Do you want to kind of give a rundown? Amanda's working on this, so she's got it. So, I've been working with L&D Safety. Um, and the white line with hash marks um, is $5,900. Um, and then the green um, paint one, they did the one where it's non slippery um, for winter time, and that is um, $45,710. They yeah. didn't have an extra zero in there by accident. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we can go without the green line. But even the white line is only 1,100 feet. That's, is that the whole distance? Is, is that the whole distance? Yep. That's the whole distance from where to where, though? From, from the apartment building, um, just before you turn onto Jenny Road, um, to just before the right. United Church. Or for the day that area. So, yeah. so the whole stretch. Yeah, it's probably yeah. close, 1,100 feet. Yeah. The sidewalk was all the way to United Church. Yes. And that's the, the picture's not very well. What does the the, the hash marks represent? <coughs> do they represent a buffer zone? It, it, it does. does. It would, what are the dimensions like? It would pull. It's it's coming off the fog line. So it's. Um, so if you look at the other picture, I don't have. They have the. Okay. You want to show the first one's with the green. Yeah. So first of all, I don't think they did. I don't think they took the tape measures out. He's got black and white, I think. Because I don't think they, they don't have enough room to do either one. You mean to do the green? The you were trying to save money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is. We did take the measures out when we did the walk. There's quite a shoulder. There was there. a yeah. fair amount of space there. I mean, that's why we suggested it because we did have the tape measure out when we did the walk on. All right, as long as there's the idea was But do you see what I mean with just the white paint and the slash marks? Yeah. Right, yes. And if you look at the other picture, yeah. it has the white paint and the slash marks, and the green is on the inside of it. So that's that means that the white paint and the slash marks are only this wide. 
See what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're not covering the same area. So they're not covering the same area. Although it does say photo, just an example, not full length. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is the so is so the slash marks yeah. a buff, in the first picture with the yeah, green yeah. paint? Oh, yeah. just for that is a yeah. buffer zone right. between the bike and the yeah. road. Yeah. That's so what, what you're saying is if we went for the, if we went for the second sure. option, it's black and white, but you would want to see um, basically slash marks it's all the whole buffer zone. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like representing the width of a side oh, Yeah. Right. Okay. Otherwise, it's just... Isn't that what the green is? Yeah, but what, yeah. what Danny's saying is if you don't have the green, if you don't have the green, can it just be a full buffer? Well, you know what I'm saying? Rather so there's a difference, and in, in with the green, the slash marks are the buffer. The green is the pedestrian. Yeah, right. The walkway. Without in the other picture, all there is is there's all there is is a buffer. Right. And so, missing a line. does that mean the walking portion is just Absolutely. on the other side of it? Yes. So what know. we're saying is, yeah. should the, the stripe be Why this long? Over the walking section. Yeah, the walking yeah. section too. The because I thought that what we came yeah. to the conclusion that the first thing we're going to need to do is to make people understand that they can't park there. It's a, it's a non -park. So we need, the first step is to make it no parking before we make it pedestrian friendly. And this is a pedestrian. You know what I'm saying? We're going to educate them. Get people to stop parking in it before you can tell people to walk through it. I think a few signs might be cheaper. So I, I have another, I've been... Once we got these pricing, the price that I was, I was kind of thinking of some other things. And you know those flexible bollards yep. that they have? Yep. And I'm wondering if that may make a better barrier. Or delineating, or the, the, it runs the into line. a problem with plowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, but it, it would delineate, it would create a walkway on the other right. side of that. Right. Yeah, but I don't, I just, it's narrow all the way through there. I mean, I drive big trucks out through there all the time. And then um, we Especially have to follow, if we're going to do it, we need to do it by the MUTD standard book. Right. Like, we can't, mm -hmm. we have to paint the lines in, to a standard. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? We can't just paint Is that because whatever the state, lines it's we want. The highway? No, that's for. The, our insurance is We also all over the place. We don't ever match nothing. <laughs> I was going to. What's that? We don't ever match nothing. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can't make a decision. Um, <laughs> We're getting closer each time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty expensive for some pay. Okay. Want to go into business? I agree with Danny. Yes. Like, <laughs> if we're going to go that route, let's think, let's strike the whole right. Because at least then we're going to start educating people that this is where this is where people should be. This is not where vehicles should be. Mm -hmm. A couple of no park more no park signs. So then people have a visual that you can walk there because they aren't supposed to be carried. It just it seems like. A, but I don't think that's what. So my question is: Is that? The, the price for a big stripe, or was it just a little buffer stripe? Then at fifty nine hundred bucks, yeah. that's yeah. A, a little stripe. Uh, right. Yeah, it doesn't which say is how which they, does. they probably quoted it to the standard to create yeah. a buffer. That's probably that's yeah. it's no parking. So, are but, we, but well, it's, we it's, it's it's it is it is, but it's but where we have no parking stripe like in front of um, positive pie, right? That's whatever, well, 10 feet wide. That's the width of a parking Parking spot. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but if we're saying to the right of the fog line as you drive south is no parking, why not strike so the right area? Right. We could, but I think it's going to be more than 5,900. Okay, so let's get a price on that. Let's right. get a price yeah. on the width yeah. of a sidewalk. Like a three foot. The width is there. Three or four foot. I have two requests. Do, would you do the buffer and then? No. no. Or just, no. Do, just, just, just do that. Hash. Like, like the crosswalk, crosswalk is, yeah, the from, the from, from the fog line, line to a new line on to the, a new line, even if it's just three feet, or it's solid to a new line or just no line. So just hash marks, diagonal hash no. marks. Well, would, wouldn't you have to have some sort of a buffer there? I mean, specifically for people walking, because you don't want them walking next. To well, there's no buffer with the fog line, right? But you don't want them walking next to the the fog line. I think that's why they put that buffer in there. So uh, yeah, I don't know. We have to check the standards. The yeah. The traffic standard. Well, I think people it's are walking there no matter yeah. what. Who's going to do that? Right. So the paint company. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah. They're not going to offer up anything that's not a 
That's so it's it to, to be clear, it's coming from Jenny Road all the way to Lower Cherry. To where the to Lower Cherry, because that addresses my issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see if you can get a quote for doing uh, hash right. yeah, if, if that's allowed. If it's allowed. And just to be clear, since we're already in October, this is really for next spring. Or we try to get this. A done. solid answer would be good for next spring for me. I mean, yeah. it is getting. So that way we can when we do October, we're, we're the first the week into October already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will. They won't paint after. And then if we're doing that, like. But it'd be great to have a solid plan come dry yes. before Memorial Day. Yes. First thing, as soon as pavement's warmed. And I'd love to see uh, an example of what budget line that would come out of. Yeah. So that's my request. Yeah. And thank you, Amanda. For <coughs> yeah, thank you. All right, so that's good. We're going to move on. I believe SBA is on the phone. There. Oh. I'm not too slow. Okay. Um, do wait, do we have. Yeah, no, that's it, right? Back to back. Back. No, I didn't think no, but this is, uh, we're done with item four. Do yeah. they have anything else on that? No. Okay, moving on. Uh, do we have someone from SBA on the line? Oh, hey guys, this is Eric. I'm uh, representing Sylvia Processing uh, Renewal for a uh, Kevin Black. Oh. Uh, so uh, yeah, done. We got it. It's approved. Approved. <laughs> Awesome, pretty good guys. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Ooh, Thanks for joining. Yeah. Um, enough. Anything else we need to select board reports, new business, old business. Hey, somebody going to be on that cannabis control board? Oh, right. Okay. <coughs> I'd like to say I could be, but I probably can't be. The training? Uh, I there's something Kristen's in that taking. inbox. Yeah, somebody from the select board. Oh, from select board? You mean Kristen's? No, she's not board. Board. I know. Do you think she's? We know that. <laughs> yeah, no. We, we select board needs to start taking some of our own responsibilities mm -hmm. here. We're going to be in bad shape. I, I don't want to. Well, personally, I don't have a, a lot of interest in going up against the state on the cannabis control thing. So, what are you asking again? The participation from the select board members right. in running the town of Hybrid. I yes, okay, <laughs> thank you. But I guess I don't know about this I'm gonna particular take it. What, what up is to? You didn't get an email in the inbox? The state it's, sent a survey about the campus control mission out there. Right, but there's a webinar or something that's gonna I think it's no big deal. It's not. Well so so historically the issue that we had, you know, maybe but the is the when we get a request for a cannabis license, the only reason we could ever possibly turn one down would be if, uh, for some reason, it didn't pass our zoning regulations, in which case Kristen would have already sent them back in. So basically, we just have to pass everything that comes But we are the Cannabis Control Board, for by our default. Board. And so I guess a couple things, like why we thought we were setting this up to have some sort of input, but we don't actually have any input. We also don't get any That could change based on the- If you went to a meeting, huh? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Well, the survey, okay, right? Smart. And we also don't get any of the revenue. Okay. The state gets a lot of revenue for this. Right. Also something that should be brought up in the survey. It <laughs> sounds like, this, I mean, good luck getting money from the state. Yeah. It's that they want their revenue. Their well, we, did, stamp we do get money from Day. We I quite a bit of money from the state. <laughs> I, know, I know we do, but I'm talking about in this regard. Tax revenue. Didn't they yeah. also say that they're not going to approve many more um, they of this retail? retail? All good yeah. conversations that will probably be discussed. Um, and then we do yeah. have the option of getting their rev revenue 1%, the local option tax. We right. can do the local option tax, but it has to be an all business. Right. Yeah. We can't, mm -hmm. It can't be special. Right. No. And the tax department has made it easier for towns to do that. It's true. Yeah. So that's something to discuss. You should know. It's a for so, Danny, you don't want to do the specific or has to be all So, as of yeah, tonight, I've been in my dump truck seat so. 51 hours oh, already yeah. this week. And I've got. And it's only Thursday. And it's only Thursday, and I've got mm -hmm. tomorrow and Saturday to go. So, I'm pretty busy right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
But uh, I thought it would be something that the select board would be more interested in because we do have we have voiced concerns about how the whole thing is being run, and it, since this is the beginning of a new deal for everybody, that's why they're having these meetings, is to get together and figure out what we're doing wrong, and maybe possibly we might be able to do something right for a change, which I agree is highly unlikely dealing with the state of Vermont, but that's, that was my thinking. Yeah. And I'll do my best to be on it. Maybe I will be, uh, you know, yeah, I'm sleeping right. tonight. I need to get me a, a tablet or something for my truck. Now I can. <laughs> yeah. Multitask, Multitask, right? <laughs> right. Phone. Attend a meeting while this isn't big enough. Driving truck. That's not safe. Got to do what you got to do. So I don't know. I mean, then people sit the at their desks all day long. And don't have time to do it. I don't so sit at the desk. <laughs> don't. Oh, I don't care. I just brought it up because I want to make sure that I wasn't the only one getting the email. No, you. Nope. Yeah. Did my job. You maybe my, didn't. Yeah, I don't think I saw that. That's why I was confused. So I will forward to you. So you can always do the survey. That's good. Yeah, because the survey was. Um, and then. Yeah, I don't. I don't see. And that. I I actually filled the survey out telling them what I thought too. So. Yeah. If everyone that fills it out does that, maybe they'll get the idea that. Right. And we're frustrated. And I, honestly. I don't believe I ever heard anyone say that they had it all figured out the first go. Nope. No, the state didn't even say that. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I don't. You don't happen to remember when the webinar thing is. Oh God, I want to say the eighth. I just looked at it today again. Thank you. Sure, would you please send that to me? I will. Yeah. Potentially. Okay. Well, it'd be nice just for rich. It'd be great if the town okay, actually had some. If, yeah, and that, yeah. that we could actually say that we could do something. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That was kind of like my yeah. my thought. The municipal roundtable will be on Tuesday, October eighth at eleven a.m. This is a virtual event, and we are partnering with the Mount League of Cities and Towns. How long is it? All four of us email to you right now. Thanks. Probably no more than an hour, but maybe yeah. longer. So. Okay. The board wants to hear from you. The cannabis control board. Who would have ever thought? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other new business, old business, or reports? Um, I just wanted to mention that it's going to be a big day in Hardwick on Saturday. There are um, a bunch of different events happening. Uh, there's the Fall Foliage Craft Fair at the elementary school from 9 to 3. There's the Hogs Garment Swap. I think it's at Hazen, it is. 10 to 3. There's also um, Kiwanis Yard Sale, rummages. There's hot dogs and veggie burgers. Are this happening at Atkins? Downtown Park. No, no, it's in the Idle Hour. Idle Hour. Downtown, there will be, uh, be lunch. And then the CAE is celebrating 20 years, which is just remarkable, um, <coughs> at two, from 2 to 5.30. Um, and there are much other open houses. So and then Sunday is the pumpkin walk. And Sunday's the pumpkin walk at six. I was gonna say, I'm looking for that. <laughs> Sunday's the pumpkin walk. Mm -hmm. This this one this ad just says this Saturday, which is why the pumpkin walk uh, is out there. Yellow bird question. Yes. That incubator building is how many million? How many million? Why does it still this is come up where my brain works? Why do they still have plywood on that door window? Oh. <laughs> so for some reason the door windows are back ordered. It's funny though that, that whole that this whole project that door was like the first door they put on <laughs> and that probably went in the window and it's still to this day yeah. they're almost and finished. The ones in the back too. Oh really? Yeah. Grass is growing and yes. trees are growing and everything's nice and yep. I'm like, wow, what's up? That's gotta be a story everything. behind that. Yeah, you can't have everything. Well it's just the way the world is. So for some reason backward. For some reason those those, the glass for those is backward or slow or something, and the other thing is some office lights apparently are potentially stuck in. Some so this little long term break they're taking that'll speed things up right for Christmas. Yeah. Five billion dollars a day. That's right. Sure. So I gotta tell you, I, if I thought these guys were making a decent wage already, I'd feel bad for them, but I. Don't believe the longshoremen, union longshoremen, are 
be taken advantage of. Do you? They're able to get our attention. They sure are. Whatever they're getting, they're going to get more. All right. Any other reports from business or business? Any update on the kiosk? The guy that was going to do the estimate, the contractor? Uh, Tracy's working on that. I don't know if she's yeah. having any. Okay. She's she's correct. He said the trailhead say. kiosk. Is if you have an update. <laughs> he says he needs more information from her on something which she <coughs> told him. That's what he said. Okay. That's coffee shop talk. I asked him if he could do it. He said, well, you had to get more information. That's worth relaying back because if she's waiting on him and he's waiting on her, we're yeah. going to get anywhere. What's, what's I, I, don't get the, I don't get the feeling that Tracy knows if she folded it up. She doesn't. Well, sometimes she that happens. Doesn't, no, she gave him all this. She doesn't impress me as a hold up person. <laughs> no, but everybody's waiting on somebody else. Right. They just they need yeah. to be Pick up the phone. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. Anything else? I'll give her the update. Yeah, yeah just tell her you hold it. Terry, right? Yeah. Okay. So I pretty much know where to slap you now. Mm -hmm. You're ready to wrap? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so uh, let's adjourn. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.